In this lesson, we'll try to understand about variables and how variables can be used in a C program. Variables are small blocks of spacers in the computer's memory. Variables provide easy access to these memory blocks. These memory blocks have memory addresses that uniquely identify each individual species of blocks. When you want to access them in a C program, you can access those by using a variable name instead of using the memory address. This is the simple mechanism behind using the variables. Now let's try to understand this graphically. In this simple diagram, I'm trying to explain you the main and basic concept about the variables and how variables are used in a C program. This blue area is the computer's memory and small squares are the memory blocks that can be used to store data. In the computer's memory, you can see these memory blocks have memory addresses. For example, this particular memory block has the memory address of 9400001. As humans, it will be difficult for us to remember this number when we need to deal with this particular memory block. So therefore, we use variables. Instead of using the memory block address, what we can do, we can assign a variable name to that particular memory block. Now you can see here, I have assigned student marks variable name to the particular memory block. Now in a C program, instead of using 9400001, I can use student marks variable name. To understand about variables, we'll create a simple C program. You can see I've created this variables.c source file. It has a simple printf statement. As the first parameter of the printf function, I've provided this string. There are 10 eggs in the basket. Now let's compile and run and see how the output comes. Actually, we are expecting this string to be printed on the command line screen. So I'll use the bcc32 command and the variable dot c is the file name. Now you can see it compiles the source file. Now we can run the variables dot exe file. So I just type the variables and press enter. You can see the string is printed on the command prompt screen. Now what I need to do, I have a number here, 10. So instead of using 10 as a string, I need to use a variable. By implementing a, a variable into this string, anytime I'll be able to change the value of that variable. So the output also will change according to that. So what I need to do, I need to declare a variable. So I put a comment here, variable declaration. When we declare a variable, we need to have two things. First one, a name for the variable. And the second, type for the variable. Now the variable type defines what type of data we can store in that particular variable. Example, here we are going to store numbers. 10 is a number, it's an integer. So the particular variable I'm going to declare here should have the type int. So I'll type int space, the variable name number of x put a semicolon at the end. Now this is how we should declare a variable in C. In front of the name of the variable, we need to put the variable type. Now we can assign a value to this variable. We type the variable name number of eggs, 
put the assignment operator and then the value 10. Now we need to implement this variable inside the printf statement. Now to show this I'll keep this printf statement as it is put a new line character at the end like this and then create a new printf statement. Now here I type exactly the same. There are 10 eggs in the basket. Now when we need to implement a variable inside a printf statement that variable has to be passed to the function. Now to do this we use the variable as the second argument of the printf function. So I'll put a comma. You can see after the closing double quote of the string I put this comma and then type the name of the variable that is number of eggs. The value of this variable has to be put inside the string. Now to put the value of the variable inside this string we'll be using a placeholder string. We call this a conversion specifier. I'll be using percent %d as the conversion specifier. d is specifically has to be used for integers. Now this percent %d is the conversion specifier that we are using in this statement to put the value of the variable inside the string. Now this percent %d works as a placeholder to the value of the variable. Now you can see these two printf statements they are different. The first printf statement has only one parameter but the second printf statement has two parameters. The first parameter of the printf statement is called the control string and the second parameter of this printf function is called the format string. Now put the format string value inside this control string you need to use this conversion specifier. For integers we'll be using d character with the percent character. Now let's save the file and then compile it using the command prompt. I'll use bcc32. Actually I can press the up and down arrow keys so I can get the same commands I entered before. Now I press the enter. You can see the file was compiled. Now I can run variables. And you can see we are getting exactly identical statements. There are 10 eggs in the basket. But the difference here, you can see when I need to change, I can change the value of this variable. I'll change the value to 8 and then save the file, compile again and then run again. Now you can see I get there are 8 eggs in the basket. Very simple. When you need to use uh, multiple variables like this in a program and you can see you'll be using multiple format strings in the control string. We have two variables so we have multiple format strings and also you can see this printf statement we have three parameters you can say three arguments first the control string and then we have two format strings books variable and the pens variable now inside the control string you can see we have two placeholders now we have two conversion specifiers one for the books and one for the pens when you enter these format strings you should use the correct order now first we need to put the books in this and then we need to put the pens in this so you need to use the same order when you are adding these format strings inside the printf function now when we output this this is what we get you can see we have a string output there are four books and five pens on the table. Now 
as I mentioned, if you change the order, I'm changing the order like this. I will compile this and see. Now what happened? We have five pens, so it say there are five books. So that is not correct. So very important thing, you need to use the correct order for these format strings, pens. Now we'll save and compile again. Now we have four books and five pens.